What's up, Taurus? This is Soul. And Taurus, we're going to dive into looking at some energies for you in the month of October um, 2022 regarding love and relationships. So the messages will be for Taurus suns, moons, Taurus rising signs, Venuses, couples, singles, Taurus who are into same-sex loving energy. My fellow bulls, I hope all is well. Uh, so as you know, we always, well, I always use the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck. Uh, to deliver your messages, this is the fourth edition, so, you know, two lovers, two devils, and two emperors in this deck here, so if you get any of the two, it's double the energy for that month, right, of October, so I'm only going to focus on love and romance for you, um, these cards should be in the upright position, but I just noticed that some of the cards here, and maybe I did that in between uh, readings and turned them around and forgot the orientation, but any cards that show up, that may show up in the reverse. I'm going to read it in the upright. To complement your reading here, Taurus, I'm going to be throwing some cards from the Truth Oracle deck and then also selecting one card from the Love Oracle deck to complement your reading. All right, so let's get into these energies right away here. Messages for Taurus, Suns, Moons, Risings, sing, uh, yeah, Risings and Venuses. Uh, potentially, what is the energy potentially for my fellow bulls? Oh, and happy Halloween, Taurus, for all those who celebrate Halloween in October, right? Messages for Taurus. All right, so three good cuts here, Taurus. Let me pay attention because sometimes when I start cutting, I forget how many cuts. That's one. Two. And three. All right, so let's begin your energies here and see what's opening up for us. We have the emperor. Okay, we have the emperor. That threw me off a little bit because Aries received the other emperor. And I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, I did say two emperors, right? Duh. Major Arcana, the emperor, you're in control. Queen of Pentacles here. It's a court card. Another court card. King of Swords here, making decisions. A little insecurity stuff going on here, hanging on to something too tight or someone. This was in the reverse. So I'm not reading reversals. Uh, we have the Five of Wands. So in the month of uh, October, you have to be a little bit wary uh, when it comes to these relationships that, you know, if you're already established in a relationship, someone just, you know, wants to be petty here. Okay. Petty fights, petty arguments. It's not worth your time. Don't feed into it. Then we have the Two of Pentacles, a choice of two. There could be two people interested in you or you're interested in two people. Taurus could be dating two people. Now it's the social card, Four of Cups. I like the uh, social card, Four of Cups here. And now we have the temperance, major arcana. So that's relationship, peace and love and harmony. We have the, ooh, we have a one, two, three. We have three major arcana so far. And we have the t uh, justice card. Things that may have been out of balance for you when it comes to your relationships. Now come back into balance for you. Feel, you know, at peace with yourself, peace with your relationship. Uh, some of you may be dealing with fire sign energies because of all the fiery uh, energy that is in this card. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Someone could be getting married in front of the justice of the peace. Last card to finish off this energy, and I'll start your story, is the King of Wands. Card of passion, card of attraction, sexual energy, sexual expression. Your shadow energy, however, is the tower. Wow, isn't that something? All right, so we're talking about love and relationships here. And normally when the tower shows up, I talk about, you know, we're all adults here. It could be that sexual chemistry, that sexual energy that may feel for some of you in the month of October, very explosive, multiple orgasms. All right, so use that tower's energy for that. And it could be that there is an aspect that, you know, with the five of uh, pinnacles showing up here, even though that's minor energy and this tower is major you could find yourself getting into greater arguments, bickering, uh, doesn't necessarily uh, indicate any types of, you know, breakups, splitting, parting of the ways. It could be that, you know, couples go through, you know, differences and there's nothing wrong with that. And we grow through learning from our differences. So don't think that the tower is here to be destructive or, you know, um, you know, anything other than what I just mentioned before, okay? And, and it's so weird, too. And even though this is a, a love reading, I'm not talking about any other area or aspect of your life here, Taurus. But I did want to mention that the tower showed up twice for the general weekly readings that I've done. And usually is either, you know, double the energy. But 
And one of the videos, I can't recall if it was, I don't think it was you, but it was another one. But the tower was here as the first card drawn. And then we also have the sun. And I negated to uh, mention that the tower and the sun showing up here always indicates uh, for me uh, power disruption, loss of power. And lo and behold, look what happened to um, what, you know, what occurred with Fiona in Puerto Rico. They lost power. And then the tower's influence, the bad weather that I always talk about, you know, it could be the weather that is destructive and, you know, there was some lives lost. But we're not talking about that, right? I just want to throw that in there. We're going to get into this reading here. I'm going to skip around here for you, Taurus. Don't mind me. I'm just, you know... Being me. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Justice card here. This is a major arcana. So, like I said before, the doves at the base of her feet, Taurus, are that uh, energy of peace. It's an energy of feeling free. I mentioned that there could be some bulls who are into same sex loving energies. This could be a month of, you know, being in a partnership, but, you know, this might be a, a month where you, you know, you come out. You know, to your family, to your friends, that's the justice card. Somebody could be getting married in front of the justice of the peace. The scales are balanced. So you're feeling um, not only the inner peace, but liberated and, and feeling, you know, justice being served, things turning in your favor. It's a very, very good card to um, receive uh, for a general love reading. So this justice card here represents Libra, uh, Aquarius, and Gemini. Four of Pentacles here, Taurus, representing your own energy. Some of you have to discuss security issues or insecurity issues. This is holding on tight of uh, love and affection towards someone. Hopefully it's not that type of energy that you're doing to somebody else. But normally the Four of Pentacles, specifically for a love reading, is about security issues. I keep saying security, but it's insecurity issues, okay? Then if it was in the reverse, and I read them in the reverse, it's severe insecurity issues when it comes to those relationships. So only you know what that may be. King of Swords is all about taking action, making major moves, gaining enough information, using your logic against your emotions when you have to make any types of moves or major decisions when it comes to your relationship. So that energy could go... Um, you know, for the you know, bulls that are single, you know, having to decide uh, in terms of your own energy in the month of October, if you wanted to, you know, put your energy out there to connect with someone new. Well, here's that King of Swords giving you that. OK, that's what you're going to. And it's a lot of determination. OK, but you want to gather all the information and uh, the facts together. And you're not going to be drawn in your emotions. Um, no, this is all about you being mentally clear about what your next move or your decision is going to be and it is connected to your relationship. Queen of Pentacles represents you as well, Taurus. That is a court card, so that could be new connections that are made um, or it could be the aspiration of, you know, wanting to have a more secure uh, relationship. I do feel that there's something going on here because here's the card of security, here's the card of less security. So there's something going on uh, but there is the balance card, the uh, justice card. So you're, there might be somebody that I'm reading for that's just struggling uh, about, you know, their security uh, within the relationship. OK, it's like one day or some days you're strong. That would be the queen of pentacles. The other days you you're not so strong. OK, that's for somebody. I know it's for somebody. But anyway, the Queen of Pentacles could be uh, someone that you meet. It could just be the expression of your own energies and you're feeling safe, you're feeling secure, um, you know, you're dependable, you're reliable, and, you know, your partner sees you as such, you're um, taking care of others, uh, being taken care of. So, yeah, this Queen of Pentacles, on the other hand, could be for the singles where I always talk about the king or the queen. Uh, a pinnacles could have some pocket change. This could be somebody running their own business or doing something very, very well in terms of the line of work that they have chosen or their career. So you singles may meet this uh, individual, but they're willing to share uh, any accumulated wealth or resources with you. They like the finer things in life, just like you do. Now, it could be another, you know, earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. All right, so that's the queen, and the roles could be reversed. Uh, that could be male, but remember, the king and queen, no matter what element shows up, always represents relationships, ages, and genders for me. Temperance card, okay? This is another relationship card, but this is just like the 
justice card, balance being restored. If there was any types of energies when it comes to your own peace of mind, um, you know, specifically with your relationships, then that energy is going to be balanced off and going to be restored in the month of October. Something may have been off, may have not been quite right, but this card, these two cards here come in to say that they're going to super balance your energy. So you should have a super month um, and just feeling balanced. Okay, feeling balanced. But overall, uh, I do feel that some of y'all are going to have a an exceptional month of energy. Because the temperance card here represents uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. And preceding that is the social card. So the Four of Cups is here. So, you know, get yourself out there socially. This could still be, you know, it mirrors the Justice card, you know, weddings and celebrations, double dating, um, being invited out socially if you're single. And, you know, you may come across um, someone new who may be an interest to you or it could be that, you know, you're just hanging out socially on your own and uh, the same energy may apply. But having fun socially and possibly meeting someone. Two of Pentacles here, your own energy again is juggling two relationships. There are two people who you may be interested in or there's two people who are interested in you. So make up your mind here. If that is the case, and that's the King of Swords, that's the determination. So you're either going to, um, if you're the bull out there that has, um, that if you are actually dating two people, you're going to make a decision to cut one of them off. All right, you already made up your mind what you're going to do or who you're going to cut off. Anyway, um, the Emperor, which opened us up, um, is about you being in control, right? Remember, I said it's all about you being in control. So that's all that it means for um, you in terms of the advice that I'm giving in the month of October, that no matter what's going on with your relationships, uh, Taurus, you're going to be in control. King of Wands, the card of attraction. So this is strong attraction here. So you're either attracting someone or someone is attracting or either you have a strong attraction towards someone or someone has a strong attraction towards you. Now, because it mirrors the two of um, pinnacles here, maybe one of these people. King is always focused on something or someone. But in this case, we're talking about love and romance. So it's romance and love, right? They're a person. They're thinking about a person. Um, passionate, sexual energy, sexual expression. He, too, represents all relationships, ages, and genders. As well as the roles being reversed, this could be female. We cross mirrors the emperor. Somebody is in, in a relationship or about to get into a relationship with a fire sign. Or there's a fire sign that's interested in Taurus. Uh, even more so, since this... King of Wands cross mirrors the emperor. Now we go and mirror the temperance, which is fire sign, Sagittarius. So then there's either Taurus's in relationships. Then we have the five of wands. So it could be your fire sign energy who's trying to, you know, pick some sort of shady fight or argument with you. But it's not worth your time to feed into the fuel. Um, don't give it energy. OK, because as soon as it starts, it will go away. So we have the blessings of the Four of Cups that represents relationships. I always like to see good cups to, uh, show up for these general love readings. So, But I feel with the Four of Cups uh, in itself is about uh, a month of socializing, spending quality time, and possibly meeting new people. All right, so let's get some energy here from the Truths Oracle deck here to complement your reading. First message for you, Taurus, is conflict. Okay, be careful of conflict. That's the card of conflict, the five of wands. 
We have single parent. Well, there you go. Could be a single uh, mother out there who is interested in connecting with a new relationship. Next one up is contemplation. Contemplation comes under the um, energy of the King of Swords. See? Sitting there contemplating. That's about making moves, making decisions, contemplation. Shadow energy is um, energy. And we're talking about energy here, right? Five of Wands, the Emperor. <coughs> Temperance. King of Wands. But this is a good aspect. Tie that into your relationships, okay? So that's your... Um, Truths. Uh, message. I need to grow some nails. I can't grab these cards. I forgot to mention too with the uh, King of Wands here. There could be a moment or uh, moments of some sort of intensity and, uh, you know, passion and things uh, heating up for you. There could be some, you know, great moments in the bedroom. Um, especially because of the tower being in the shadow. If you guys are dealing with the fire signs there, they, you know, they're going to bring the heat. They're going to bring the passion, okay? So, don't be too surprised. And if you meet somebody new, if you're single, then uh, they turn out to be a fire sign even more so. Okay, so your message here is let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Okay, and that's a beautiful message. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus, for the month of October. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Be safe in the month of October. This is just, you know, potential energy of me interpreting the cards here. I like to do the storyboard here because, you know, you know, whatever draws me first, um, instead of, you know, as opposed to just drawing one card at a time, it just seemed like it's just more interesting to me. So this will be my new format. Um, so, yeah, just be well, be safe. And, um, you know, keep smiling for me, uh, Taurus, and I will talk to you soon. All right. You do have some great energy to work with or potentially to open up with. Take care. Bye.